Okay, thank you for joining us on IMTS Spark for the Akuma presentation on Five Axis, titled The New Normal. Today we're going to spend 10 minutes to provide you with an overview of some of the features and functions available on our Five Axis Akuma machines, and also how they will benefit you and make you much more productive. We'll have five minute Q&A after the video, and please, we implore you to send as many questions as you want, and there's no such thing as a stupid question in our world, so please send them in, and we look forward to engaging with you. So without further ado, we're going to crack on with the actual presentation. Thank you. Hi. Welcome to Akuma's IMCS Spark Live Demo, titled Five Axis, The New Normal. In these unprecedented times, the phrase the new normal is seen as very negative. But when used in context with the term five axis, the meaning is seen much more favorably. In previous years, five axis technology was only mainly visible in large shops with huge financial budgets or in machine shops that produced so-called true five axis parts such as blades or impellers. Because of this, the position of many companies at the time felt that 5-axis technology was out of their reach. Comments such as cost, complexity, skill level, software, or we have no need for a 5-axis machine, played a large part in people's reluctance to buy this technology. And to be honest, a lot of the reasons were well-founded at the time. Now leap forward to the present day, and the change in the industry is absolutely astonishing. The fact is the majority of shops, such as BMW Machine Shop in Alabama, now possess a 5-axis machine, which is now seen by many of these shops as their mainstay. This is due to the fact that in most cases, 5-axis machine is seen as the most profitable and most productive, hence the term the new norm. With the support of my two Akuma colleagues, Carl Claver, sales engineer, Mark Hamlick, senior application engineer, and myself, Errol Burrell, Machine Center Product Specialist, we will explain some of the functionality on the OSP control that makes the transition to 5-axis a very painless process. After the presentation, we'll open ourselves up to questions and answers. Enjoy. Hello, this is Kyle Claver, and today I'll be talking about dynamic fixture offset and how it pertains to 5-axis machining. What is dynamic fixture offset used for in 5-axis machining? It is used for 3 plus 2 machining. This is where a part can be set up and machined on 5 or more sides in a single setup. Dynamic fixture offset is easy and powerful. By utilizing a 5-axis machining set with dynamic fixture offset, you can easily replace numerous machine setups with one 5-axis machine using 3 plus 2. This dramatically eliminates mistakes, reduces whip, and increases throughput. Akuma's dynamic fixture offset is easy to use. It's just a G-code at the beginning and the end of the program. Program your part to part 0, load your part, set your fixture offset using Akuma's Renishaw standard spindle probe, run your NC program, and the Akuma OSP will do all the work for you. The dynamic fixture offset function tracks your work offset in any orientation. This makes your part more accurate and eliminates operator intervention. And with today's true position callouts getting tighter and tighter, this helps you hold those tight houses that are normally impossible to hold in multiple setups. In addition, NC part programs can now be used across similar configured machines, making your life easier, allowing you to concentrate on other challenges within your shop. Hi, I'm Mark Hemlick, an application engineer at the Kuma Tech Center in Chicago. I'm going to talk about functions that are helpful while machining 5-axis features. Tool Center Point Control, or TCPC, is a function that controls the movement of each axis by using the tool length offset and pneumatic position stored on the parameter page. This function basically determines how the tool center point moves along the workpiece as specified by the axis movement commands. While moving along at 5-axis path, 
The machine needs to interpolate both linear and rotary motion simultaneously. The TCPC calculates the feed rate of each axis so the tool center point moves along the part at the specific feed rate. Since the rotational centers are stored in the control, they do not need to be considered when creating the cutting program. This makes possible any changes to the setup. For example, when you change the tool or place a part on a table in a different location, you don't need to repose the program, as the TCPC figures out where it needs to be. The program is also universal for similar configured machines. Tool pasture compensation is coupled with tool center point control and enables minor axis inversions to be filtered while using TCPC via either parameter setting or G-code. Occasionally, the CAM program output may cause the tool pasture to move radically because of errors in linear approximation. This means that smooth cutting is difficult to maintain and results in a longer cycle time and rougher surface finishing. Using SuperNERS function, the OSP control projects a tolerance band that is predetermined by the programmer to the series of points. Based on this, it will create a spline that is a best fit and may not require some of the points that are redundant to the spline path. As a benefit, the user achieves smoother toolpath and with fewer points, the position in feedback has less data to crunch, thereby accelerating movements while still maintaining accuracy. The result is controlled high-speed and high-quality CNC machining. With faster roughing speeds and better surface finishes, hand polishing is eliminated so the part can be completed entirely in the machine. Errol Burrell, Machine Center Product Specialist. In the next topic, we'll be discussing fiber axis auto tuning. The Kuma fiber axis auto tuning performs two tasks which are calculating the machine's kinematic values as well as the volumetric accuracy. The kinematic values are derived from the spindle gaze line, the tabletop, the center of rotation of the C-axis, and in this demo, the pivot point of the A-axis. To get started, we place a magnetic base with a 25 millimeter sphere on the table. And with the probe, we calculate the exact center of the sphere. Now, utilizing one of our five axis functions, we now transform the sphere to a new position. And in this demo, we will rotate the C axis 180 degrees and the A axis roughly 35 degrees. In a new location, we will now again probe the center of the sphere. Now, in theory, the zero values in the new position to replicate the zero values from the original or initial position. Now, please take into account we're only talking about very fine margins. So we will see a difference. Any difference that we do find is written directly into the kinematic table to compensate for any error. Now back in the good old days, a task like this could take a highly skilled technician hours to perform. Now an operator with minimal training can perform this task in minutes. Unique feature about Akuma's 5-axis auto tuning is the fact that it compensates for volumetric error in real time. This gives the operator the confidence that we can maintain a consistent, accurate machining process. Errol Burrell, Machine Center Product Specialist. In the next topic, we will cover some of the available options in a typical Akuma multitasking fiber axis machine. In this demo, we will take a look at some of the options that are available on Akuma's fiber axis platforms. First, Skyvin. This function creates splines and spur gears. It does it by synchronizing the rotation of the C-axis and spindle, coupled with the splicing motion of the skiving tool to produce the perfect gear. The next is the oscillating grinding for those of you looking for a fine finish or looking to hold a tight tolerance. And of course, all the Kuma machines with this option are built with sealed weight covers and excellent filtration. Or maybe you require turning in this demo, we are featuring the MU4000VL and is equipped with 1200 RPM table. Lastly, we will feature the in-process measurement. This option gives the operator the ability to generate a report or change tooling offsets as needed.
Thank you all for taking the time to attend the Kuma's live five axis demo. Please feel free to visit Akuma's virtual showroom at www.akuma.com forward slash showroom. Thank you again. Now it's time for Q&A. Please feel free to ask any of our experts any questions that have arisen from this live demo. So now we're open up to Q&A. So one of the first questions was from Alpheus, Alpheus Cockburn, I hope I said your name correctly. So as you can say, the uh, line was actually programmed by one of our partners, Open Mind, using the Arpenil software. Um, we used shrink tooling and uh, it took quite a bit of a, an it was quite an endeavor, but uh, if you want one, um, you'd have to buy a machine. Uh, so with every machine you buy, you get one, particularly if it's uh, one of our more expensive ones. But joking apart, we normally showcase these at a, a trade shows or partner trade shows, and uh, they're normally one of the uh, most popular uh, things to see at one of the trade shows. Everybody gathers around it, and they're all asking questions out, something so ornamental was machined on a five-axis machine. But they are very beautiful. CJ Hauser, which machine configuration is better for me? Particularly in headed in the spindle or trunnion? It just depends. That's a question I hear all the time. You get a uh, table, table, head, head. It just depends on the type of uh, parts coming in. Is it heavy part? If it's a real heavy part, I would suggest a, a head type machine. Uh, so you're not rotating the, uh, the actual part on the table too often. Uh, it just depends all on the application uh, before you make that decision on what type of configuration you're going to be using on the five axis machine. I never way Ben Cross. I never got a lion. Uh, well, <laughs> um, we'll uh, we'll we'll get back to you on that, Ben, uh, about the lion part. Um, Chris Colton, the resolution. The resolution is a is a one micron uh, in, in indicator, a, t a ten micron indicator. Uh, what size range of five axis machines do Akuma sell? Yeah, well, we start from a four hundred millimeter pallet right up to one meter pallet machines. Then we do a nice wide range. Uh, so we have the MU range, and then we have the Millite, the older ones, and then we also have our Genesis 5AX, is probably one of our most popular. Um, it's considered an entry level, but not really. It's, uh, it's built to the same, it's built to the same standard as all the MUs. Uh, it's just a much more affordable price. Thank you, Ben. I'm glad you enjoy your uh, 5AX. I hope, you, I hope it's been very productive for you. Uh, Chris Colton, why cannot use a rotary table on a three-axis mill instead of a five-axis? Uh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, we can do that on our um, uh, MB platforms, the MB56 or the Genus 560s or the Genus range. We can use a, a coma table. We, in fact, that's where a lot of the customers progress from. They progress from a three axis machine with a uh, maybe a, a two rotary or a, a one rotary table on a three axis machine. And normally, they outgrow that. Maybe the parts are getting bigger. Maybe they're, they're, they're running out of space. And a lot of the functionality in the integrated five axis is not available in that environment. But a lot of people still go with that, uh, you know, depending upon the actual um, application. Also, touch on the OSP on the M560. It is fully capable of doing five axis simultaneous work. Yeah, so we have, we do uh, on the Genus, which again is probably our best one of our best selling machines. 
Uh, the OSP control is more than capable of doing simultaneous five axis with a, a Coma or a Niken rotary table on the machine. Yes, we do offer five axis on our double collar machines. Uh, we have a, they call it a BC head. So the BC head runs simultaneously with one another. So there's your five axis. So yeah, we do uh, offer that on our double collar machines. Okay, so uh, feel free uh, to ask more questions. Um, I'm going to leave this for a little minute, our uh, website, but thank you for joining us today. And uh, Akuma has more live presentations that we'll be doing over the course for IMTS Spark. The next one will be on October the 15th, titled Multifunction. And our machine shops can obtain a competitive advantage by combining operations and reducing non-productive setup times. So uh, we'll see you there. So as you can see, there's our website. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Have a good day, everybody, and thanks for attending.